this pretty wood A beautiful day for a neighbor Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted to have a neighbor Just like you I've always wanted to be in the neighborhood With you So Let's make the best of this beautiful day Since we're together we might as well say Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Da -da -da Please won't you be my neighbor? Well, you know, here I am in this beautiful house. Oh, I don't know whose house this is. Maybe it was, oh, the, who was I, I heard screaming back there? But anyway, here I am in somebody's house. And to be honest with you, this is what I and other homeless advocates really want. Housing. Affordable housing. I don't know how much this place costs, but it looks lovely. I'm not sure if I could afford it. I sure hope I can. But at the end of the day, you know, what myself and other homeless advocates really want is housing that people can afford as a way of ending homelessness. And so here I am in this Christmas season in, in somebody's house, loving it, wishing that this could be my life again. And, you know, if we don't get the funding replaced for homeless services for fiscal year 2013, then as of April, when the city no longer has a legal obligation to provide shelter when it starts to warm up, then... All of you out there are going to have some more homeless neighbors. And, and of those 7,000 homeless people that D.C. now has, more of us are going to be in your living room, on your front doorstep, on your lawn, you know, and we're all going to be your neighbors. And, uh, you know, most of us are like State Farm. We're, like, we're good neighbors. But, but even so, you know, do you want us to be there or... Do you think that the city should provide funding for homeless services to make sure that we don't have a reason to become your neighbors in this way? And when, when they finally do secure the shelter, maybe they'll also move on to securing affordable housing as a way of ending homelessness so that we don't have to invade your place in order to have a home. Okay, and, and so that said... I think that dispels the rumor that many of the homeless advocates only want to fight for shelter. The truth of the matter is, we want affordable housing, but because shelters are being threatened on an annual basis, we keep backing into fighting for the shelter, which is the short-term solution, and we don't have time to fight for the long-term solution. But let's remind ourselves of what we really want, which is affordable housing for everybody. And Chris Murphy... I want to reach out to you, uh, Mayor Grace, Chief of Staff, and, you know, in this time of good cheer, I, I want to extend another olive branch to you, and, and maybe we can come together and we can meet, and, and we can just talk very rationally about how to truly end homelessness, or at least begin to decrease it. So, once again, I want to ask you, can we meet myself? And, and you, Mr. Chris Murphy, and whoever else wants to come to the table who can really have a meaningful conversation about decreasing and eventually ending homelessness. Thank you, and Merry Christmas.